Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I've seen on a few other YouTube channels that uh, people are starting to use these um, microscopes with screens and I always thought that looked kind of interesting. This is a 1 to 1200X 7 inch LCD portable digital microscope, uh, industry education collection research biological mineral, 12 megapixels, uh, HD high, high speed, smart portable, multi-purpose video camera. Um, some pictures on the side and basically the same thing on the back. Battery is optional, that's interesting. Uh, supper battery working for three to four hours. Um, interesting. And it uh, works in Hebrew, so that's sweet. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, so we have the uh, little crack there in the package, but the thing itself is looking good. Uh, the portable LCD microscope user manual, and then, wow, that is, oh, must tool, that's right. So I reviewed a must tool meter. It's actually in my toolbox right now. Uh, I forgot this was must tool. Um, so we got the LCD screen. There is micro USB on the side and a uh, micro, uh, S, sorry, micro USB over here, micro SD here. Uh, the LED kind of brightness knobby thingy. You've got the LCD screen, your camera, some power buttons, uh, you know, macro, I'm on digital, we'll figure out what all that stuff means. So uh, overall, it seems pretty nice. It has a little LED ring around it and something so you don't accidentally bump the microscope. Uh, pretty sweet. Doesn't weigh too much. Feels like a reasonable weight. Uh, so we have the power brick. Now I did notice they sent me, it was in a separate package, but they did send me the adapter for the US power brick. Um, oh, nice uh, aluminum chunky or some maybe some kind of centered metal um, base here and uh, with like a little uh, adjustable thingy there. We get the, this has got to be the arm. Again, nice piece of metal. Uh, everything feels like it's well machined and uh, of, of decent quality. Okay, so I have it roughly together. Let's go ahead and peel this off. Very satisfying. And uh, let's see if it's got a charge on it. Okay, that's pretty quick booting. Uh, let's get this under here. See what you guys can see. The screen looks a lot better from where I'm at. So let me see. I'm going to try to get something in focus. And then uh, let's see here. We might need. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, I don't think this camera is doing that justice. But that screen is very, very good. Like, holy cow. So, let me see how low I can get down here. Wow. Man, I... You're not seeing that as clear as I... I guess from the... Uh, let me do it this way. Well, let me... Now that I moved it. Uh, let me go ahead and... Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but I mean, that is unbelievably good. Uh, I mean, you're seeing the individual dots of ink on that paper. Uh, that is pretty crazy. Let me get, this is kind of a rusty tool here. Let me put this underneath here and uh, see if we can get it to stay in place. I'll try to focus. Wow. Yeah, that is really crazy. I mean, we're seeing specs. I mean, wow. Um... <laughs> I am pretty dang impressed. Okay, so I thought I would show you some of the things that I really like about this thing. I've been using it for a little while, and uh, as you can see, it's a little hard to tell on your screen, but the magnification is fantastic. In other words, there's some corrosion on here that I can't even see with the naked eye, but I can clearly see on this thing. Um, I saw a review where somebody did a scientific test on this thing, and they do claim 1,200 times uh, magnification. The reality is uh, you're getting probably closer to about 100 times, which is basically all you practically need. Uh, a few things I like about this thing is there is a digital zoom in here, so if I want to, I can digitally zoom on this thing without having to refocus. Um, not the most useful feature, but if there's something that's just a little bit out of, uh, you can't get to, you don't have to sit there and refocus the whole thing because it is manual focus. Um, if you come in here with this D button, I can switch to picture mode. Now, one of the things I like about this also is that it has this anti-shake mode, which allows me to, let me get that 51 in the shot. 
Um, that allows me to push the button and then get my finger away. And you'll see that icon turns yellow and then it takes the picture. Um, one thing a lot of people said is that it only takes 10 megapixel pictures, but it really does take 12. Um, if you hit this menu button and you come down here to resolution, it's not obvious because when you're in the main screen, it ends here at 10, even though there's plenty of room down here. But if you keep coming down, uh, there is a 12 megapixel button. Uh, you can set things like if you want burst or if you want a shot after 10 second delay. Uh, let me come back here to the menu. We've got uh, continuous shooting. So you can set a mode where it can take a picture every so often, every so many seconds. You can set the quality, the sharpness, even put it in HDR mode. And there's that anti-shaking mode. Um, all that kind of stuff. So that's really handy. And then you can also come back here. Let me get out of the menu. I can hit this D button and put it, this is where I can see the last picture I took, or I can come in here to video mode and you hit the OK button and, um, you know, it'll sit here and take video in 1080p. Now, another thing a lot of people uh, said is that they had a hard time taking pictures and there is something in the menu. If you go to, let me go to the menu button and you hit the menu again. So you're over here to the settings. Uh, you can come in here and actually format the SD card. And even though I had it formatted to FAT32, uh, letting this thing format the SD card allowed it to read it and write it and all that kind of stuff. Um, you can also plug it in via USB. It comes with a micro USB cable. You can plug it into the computer and you can use this as a live webcam. I did a little bit of that. I like the quality on the screen a little bit better than I do over the USB. And uh, you can also basically allow this thing to be a memory card reader so you can keep the memory card in here and grab the picture straight off the computer from that. So uh, overall, this thing is really good. The only other thing I thought maybe we could do is a little bit of soldering because uh, that's one of the best uses for this thing. So let me get set up for that. Okay, so this isn't even dangerous at all, but um, I can't even really see the board that I'm trying to solder. I'm looking at it just on the screen uh, because the camera's in my way. So let's see how good of a job we can do looking purely in the camera. Not bad at all. So uh, yeah, I like that there's plenty of room in here to get the soldering iron. Let's see here. Yeah. Um, I like that this, there's plenty of room to get the soldering iron under there and still see what I'm doing. Uh, and get in here, I can even zoom down and inspect the thing. But overall, it's kind of a nice way to work. I could do it without even seeing the object. Now, I don't recommend that depth perception being what it is, but uh, that's a little bit of practical usage of this thing. This thing is, uh, I mean, it was kind of one of those things that I, you know other people had, but I just didn't really... I didn't really believe how good this thing was. You can even see, like, that's crazy. Like, you can even use the menu and still see the thing in the background. Like, that is kind of ridiculous. Um, I've only seen a few items from this must tool company, but I'll tell you one thing. Every single one of them has been impressive. Um, <laughs> I was going to tear it down, and now I'm debating if I should. Uh, what do you guys think? Should I tear it down? All right, let's take a look. All right, she's been out of the package for all of 10 minutes, so let's give her a go. I say it every time I use this thing, but uh, if you don't have one of these, you want one of these things. Part of the deal is, too, because the thing is so good, you can avoid stripping a lot of these screws. I don't think I'm going to be able to get into that one, but, like, instead of twisting like you're able to put a good bit of pressure down and allow the thing to to really bite pretty well i'm gonna stick those two over the side because they could be different okay oh 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 here goes nothing so i'm guessing this thing has to come off somehow gently oh buddy Okay, there we go. Let's get the screen detached. Whew, okay. Now, as I said, the screen is a fairly expensive part of this thing. Um, you know, a screen this size in a, in a little case it can be 70 bucks uh, on these sites. So, I don't really know what I was expecting in here. <laughs> the battery's still on. Uh, Oh, the whole thing's on. Uh, let's see, I think this was the power button. 
So uh, as far as the battery, it it is actually attached on the back. There's a sticker that is uh, hanging on for dear life, and it does have a protection circuit on there. Um, this is about what you would expect. We have a cable. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull this board here. I'm going to unplug that battery. Okay, so we've got the red on the right. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of this light. And now we're going to flip this thing up. There we go. Now I'm not going to take any chance of breaking the thing by um, trying to get this actual camera module out of here. As you can see, it is surrounded by eight LEDs and a little wire for the LEDs coming up here. We have something that I'm guessing is similar to a USB cable, uh, a few more wires than that, sending the data up to the board. Um, I cannot get this model number on here, but I'm guessing that looks something like 34. 500 milliamp hours something like that just uh in my battery pack experience 2000 3500 somewhere in that range uh they're all fake numbers so um looking at the board i wish i had a microscope okay so on the board we have our connectors for the camera and uh sd card micro sd the lights and the battery all that fun stuff but um this uh, chip is made by a company called J-E-I-L-I, J -E -I -L -I, and uh, they make a lot of chips for drones and Bluetooth and basically all kinds of integrated electronic type chips. Uh, this particular model was could not find a data sheet for it, but um, they do this kind of stuff basically. They just make specialized embedded microcontrollers apparently. And this is the AC20 model. So uh, overall, nothing too surprising in here. Uh, it is kind of funny how this thing is in. And I'm, oh, I guess it does slide down. So it maybe moved around a little bit during shipping. Uh, so I'm gonna poke that, I'm gonna poke this thing back where I think it should be. Um, maybe even dab a little hot glue in there. But I mean, considering this thing came on a slow boat from China, uh actually i got it in five days but eventually at one time it came from a slow boat from china uh, i think it survived the trip pretty well so i am impressed with this thing i'm going to do a few more tests maybe i've put some pictures in here uh showing you some things that i've looked at on the microscope maybe some pictures that i've saved and all that kind of stuff but uh this thing is pretty sweet um Thanks to Banggood for sending me this. If you are interested in it, I will have a link in the description. I, I'm impressed, like to be honest with you. I wasn't really expecting much. I was thinking more toy level, but this is a serious bit of kit, as the Brits would say. So, hey, thanks for watching.